to the three D's that I've heard you talk about, disaster, disobedience, and depression. And you've been very open in talking about being depressed and having everything, and you couldn't put your finger on it, but you had this decade where you were depressed. And I just think you talking about it's going to help other people because what is it? Is it that you, you've achieved something and you get to a point in your life and you go, actually, I've, I've, I've not stopped. I've carried on working. But also having children brings a certain emotion to your life. The stakes are much higher with children, aren't they? You know, mm. I remember Helen Fielding, who I used to go out with years ago, saying when all her friends started having children, the smug marrieds and Bridget Jones, you know? Yeah. There's nothing less smug than a parent, is there? I mean, it's a constant, it's a roller coaster of terror and anxiety and uh, amazing love and sadness. And, you know, it's just everything ramps up, doesn't it, to a whole other level. Yeah. And of course, Helen's got uh, kids now and she, she wouldn't call herself smug either. You know, it's a very, very, it's the most difficult thing a person can do, I think. Um, I used to think I worked hard until I was a dad, and then I thought, okay, this is this is much more difficult. So, I mean, I think the thing I'm, and this isn't a, being judgmental at all, and, and, and for anyone who's going through some form of um, self-searching at the moment, but I just wondered, you were depressed for a long time. Yeah, the first three years were the worst. After that, I started to get a sort of toehold in what, what I ought to be doing and the way I should behave. But listen, I haven't say about depression, it, it's it's reasonable to be depressed. The world is shit. Look at it. It's it's a wreck. Your life is terrible. You know your relationships are mess. You live in a horrible place. But on the other hand, the world is amazing. You know, have you ever looked at a leaf or a flower properly? You know, have you the the amazing opportunities in life, the things that you can do, and that's also you know it's you're an optimist or a pessimist. It's just that. Ken Campbell used to say, you know, why be depressed when things are going badly? Because then you've got two bad things happening, the thing that's happening and you're depressed. And so, it's my view, of course, there's clinical depression where you need to need, need to be on meds. Otherwise, you, know, you, you could be in real danger. But for most people, depression is just like, it's just a form of, you know, self pity. And I know that because I was there, I, my life is awful. It's so terrible. And what I used to get really angry about was why am I depressed when I have nothing to be depressed about? You know, I have everything. I've got somewhere to live. I've got a car, I've got kids, you know, won some prizes. And so depression is about resetting the, your attitude button.